these are a little more viscous, so you have to operate the syringe a little slower to avoid bubbles. But eventually you get four microliters of the alpha pinene in your syringe, and then you put it into the 40 mils of internal standard solution. So alpha pinene weighs about 0.8 times as much as water does, so that would mean four microliters weighs well, a microliter of water weighs a milligram, so that means a microliter of alpha pinene weighs 0.8 milligrams. So when I put 4 into 40,000, I'm really taking that weight and dividing it by 10,000 times, because 4 into 40,000 microliters is dividing the pure alpha pinene by 10,000 times. So I, I know that this particular um, internal standard solution now contains a known weight of alpha pinene. Now the same would be true of beta pinene. Beta pinene weighs about the same as alpha pinene, which is about 0.8 as much as water. If you want to be just kind of roughly accurate, you can just assume that it's about the same weight as water and you won't be too far off. So for every, uh, it smells good, that mercine. So for every terpene that you want to measure, you have to do the same thing, four microliters, of the terpene, the pure terpene, into 10,000, into 40,000 microliters of the internal standard mix. Okay, so two more to go. That was limonene. Smells good. Here's the linalool, very common one that you see a lot. And then finally, beta carophyllin, which you see in most real samples. So now I have a total of six terpenes in my mixture here. This one's a little more viscous. It takes a while to get it to flow in the syringe. Okay, so great. We've got our internal standard mix now. Shake it up and label it. So I'm just going to label this um, as six terpenes for right now, but you would probably want to label it with the actual six terpene names, the alpha pinene, the beta pinene, the mercine, the limonene, the linalool, and the beta carophyllin, and then of course the date, because everything needs to be dated so you know that it correlates to a certain batch of internal standard solution. Okay, so just a couple of minutes ago, we were talking about how to make the external standard calibration into an internal standard calibration and the way we do that is by taking an equal amount of liquid out of the internal standard solution jar and putting it into the external standard and that makes it into an internal standard. But instead of just using the plain internal standard solution, we're going to use the internal standard solution that we've added the terpenes to. And that way we can have one calibration standard that not only includes the three cannabinoids, but also includes the six terpenes that we chose to put into this bottle. So to do that, we'll go back with our 100 microliter syringe and we'll take 300 microliters of this. So it's only a 100 microliter syringe, so I'm gonna have to do this three times. So here's the first 100 microliters into the bottle, and then here's the second 300, the second 100 microliters into the bottle, and then here is the third. So now I should have 600 microliters of liquid in this bottle. See, it's got more liquid in it than it started with. And then I'm going to label this and say this is six terpenes at 100 nanograms per microliter. So that's the weight because if each one of these microliters weighs 0.8 milligrams, it's, it's really not 100 nanograms per microliter, it's really closer to 80. We usually round it off to 100, but it's really 80. And even then, you could be a little more accurate 
by using the actual specific gravity of alpha pinene, which is slightly, slightly different than the specific gravity of beta pinene and myrcene. It tells you right on the bottle what the specific gravity is, but if you don't know, you can always look it up on Wikipedia. So anyway, this is now the calibration scene. So let's go to the, um, the actual calibration curves. Right? So, so here in the software now, we have our list of components. So, um, for instance, for CBD, the name of the calibration curve for CBD is very, very nicely CBD.cal. So when we go look at that calibration curve, you can see that the amount that we're putting in this first column is 333, which is the 333 nanograms per microliter that we all agreed was what was in this bottle. Now for the, um, the terpenes, it's a little different. So for the terpenes, we make a component, and then we name the component as to be something like alpha pinene, and then we, the units would be in percent, and then when we calibrate the alpha pinene, see there it is in our list, so we calibrate that, And then instead of putting 333 in this top left cell, we put the number 100 in the top left cell. So that's the difference, is that you're really calibrating the terpenes exactly the same way that you calibrate the cannabinoids. It's just that the amount is different because we put 100 or really 80 nanograms per microliter into our calibration mix, whereas there's 333 nanograms per microliter of the cannabinoids. So there's other videos that go into a little more detail in actual um, process of calibration and what the calibration curves look like, but the point of this video, we don't want it to go on too long, is just to show how to make the calibration standard that includes the three cannabinoids plus as many terpenes as you care to put in. So thanks for your attention and we'll talk to you soon.